Welcome to Time Beat Breaking News Channel. Here are our breaking news today. 1. Watchdog clamps down on loyalty penalty in the insurance sector. 2. This summer, Europe seeks to attract American tourists. The United Kingdom. Watchdog clamps down on loyalty penalty in the insurance sector. The Financial Conduct Authority is clamping down on price walking and the loyalty penalty that sees insurers gouge existing customers in a shakeup which could save customers £4.2 billion over 10 years. For years insurers have faced accusations that they offer the best deals to the new home and car customers, paid for by punishing those who don't shop around. Today the city watchdog called time on that, saying that renewal quotes in the future cannot be more expensive than they would be for new applicants. The FCA, the Financial Conduct Authority, reckons that in 2018, 6 million loyal policyholders would have saved £1.2 billion had they paid a market price for their actual risk. One example it gave was a new customer paying £130 for home insurance, but the same policy costing £238 for someone who had stayed with the same insurer for five years. The FCA says insurers will have to report more data so that it can police the market more effectively. Matthew Upton, Director of Policy at Citizens Advice, said, It's more than two years since we submitted our super complaint on the £4 billion a year loyalty penalty paid by consumers across the mortgages, savings, mobile, insurance, and broadband markets. Europe. This summer, Europe seeks to attract American tourists. American tourists have a reputation for being loud and obnoxious, but as Europe prepares to reopen its borders to international visitors in time for the summer travel season, it is hoping for a return. Last week, the European Union hinted that restrictions for vaccinated visitors from outside the bloc, including the United States, will be eased. Last year, the EU closed its borders in an attempt to stop COVID-19 from spreading. Last year, international arrivals to Europe fell by 70% compared to the previous year. In 2019, Americans traveled to Europe in excess of 36 million times. According to figures from the European Travel Commission, that number dropped to 6.6 .6 million last year. However, with half of all individuals in the United States now fully vaccinated and American Airlines gradually expanding routes to Europe, some Americans are beginning to explore summer travel this year. According to the ticket analytics firm Hopper, inquiries for EU airfares from the US increased by 47% after European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen said last month that Americans who are completely vaccinated may be permitted to visit the bloc's countries this summer. This month, Greece became the first major European travel destination to let international tourists, including Americans, return without having to quarantine them if they are properly vaccinated or have a negative COVID-19 test. Thank you for watching, we help you stay up to date all the news hourly, please subscribe our channel to follow up the latest one.